Alright, now let's look at a practical application of composition. Here is a video camera. And on the video camera, it states 1920 by 1080 progressive. AVCHD. And if you're new to video, you wouldn't know exactly what progressive means, or you might think 1920 by 1080 is your output, and something about these call letters make you wonder. So I'm going to show you how to deal with all that and learn it as you go. Now this is an amazing camera, by the way. If you're really getting into After Effects and video, I, I cannot stress how well this camera works. And it's relatively inexpensive, has some good shots, etc. and so forth. It also hooks up to USB, and you can get your stuff right off the drive via its internal 32 gig memory. It's located in a hard drive and several subdirectories. And this last one, I just took like some footage of my workbench that I do all manners of crazy invention. So in here, I'm just going to go in here and dump this into a folder. Again, I don't know what the frame size is because I'm brand new. I'm going to pretend here. So I download a program called VLC Player. It's really amazing because you can see different things about the video. Uh, I'm going to open this video with the VLC Player. It's also got every codec known to man. So if you can't play a video, VLC Player will play it. It's, it's absolutely free. All kinds of crazy tools and inventions. Good stuff. Okay, let's pause this. And what I want to do here is go here to this little button and right click on it and say information. If I go to codec, I can now see the resolution, which is in fact 1920 by 1080. Good. Now, it also shoots in MPEG-4, which tells me a little bit about, you know, the footage. If I was to export via this type of codec, H.264, uh, it would cut rendering time in half. So, great bit of information right here. Now I know, if any time I use this camera, sure enough, I can use 1920 by 1080 and I'll try to output using MPEG-4 to cut down, on res cut down on time. So, in After Effects, Composition, New Composition. Now here there really is no 1920 by 1080, right? And there's no AVHCD whatever. So in mine, I do Custom. And then I change it to 1920 by 1080. I use Square Pixels. And I'll use a frame rate of 29.97 okay and I'll hit OK to this I would say that's more than 30 seconds so it would probably be 60 seconds so I'm going to delete this one composition double click on this one to get into it and you can see I'm in that composition. And I'll just go File, Import, File, and I can import that footage. I'll know I have it correct if I can drag it to the viewport and it matches up perfectly size-wise. Now I know I will not be wasting any pixels. It matches verbatim. Cool. So there's a practical application of composition size. Enjoy.